well hello there it's Christine and welcome to my channel I'm doing an energy reading today for tomorrow which will be the 7th of the 11th it's a mouthful, isn't it? 2022 it'll be Monday so where, where I am at Sunday evening and I just sort of, sort of thought I'd look into the cards um, and share a reading for tomorrow for you so what can we expect on um, Monday the 11th uh, I'm just going to I've got a few lighting issues because I had um, I had uh, a lamp blow <laughs> and it's the weekend and oh, I can go out but it's pretty full on and so I just sort of thought ah oh, I just have to see how I can wing it today so please forgive me so um, we have the moon in Aries tomorrow. It's a waxing gibbous phase. I've had a few fallout, too many to read. Although there is a fire card there, so change is coming. And with the water sun, because um, sun's in Scorpio, and Scorpio is a water sign, and a fire moon, because the moon will be in Aries, and then that's a an, uh, fire sign. We can often experience a sense of um, fluctuating energies. Um, we have this sense of anticipation and a lot of creativity and wanting to really get that focus on what we're wanting to achieve. However, we can find that um, we can also experience fun fluctuating energy levels um, or we think we want to do this and we want to do that because Mars of rules Aries is in Gemini and uh, retrograde so there's a sort of little bit of energy competition happening there um, so getting the balance of our emotional expression can be a challenge and I sort of thought the, um, this reading is for the collective so take what fits and what doesn't fit um, for you and I just sort of wanted to do a reading which I haven't done for a while and that is um, what are the energies for the day and uh, it'll involve just cutting the cards and it'll be four cards um, and I'm going to take north, south, east and west that gives them lining up here so with the north what will keep us focused, keeps us grounded, I should say, today? Grounded. We need to be grounded with the Five of Swords of knowing what it's like um, when we're sort of feeling that sort of fighty, pointy energy uh, that can often happen with the, that Aries Martian energy. Um, that we are, what it's like to walk in other people's shoes. We will stay grounded if we realise I've been the one that's been hurt by someone's sharp tongue. I've been the one that um, w wants to walk away, but and I've also been the winner. And to stay grounded as Aries, we don't have to be the winner. Um, we can just sort of be grounded and know what it's like to walk in other people's shoes, because I'm getting um, a lot of energy off. Um, I'm seeing shoes is something jumping out at me here. So see what it's like to walk in someone else's shoes with that. What will keep us inspired today? We will be inspired of knowing that there's always going to be something else come on offer for us. We've got the Four of Cups and we might have turned things down, but we also know there's going to be another offer come in and we're going to feel inspired about it. And we know that we've already got lots of things that we want and there's still more to come. So that will help keep us inspired with that. What will help us find courage today is knowing that we are moving to better things. Knowing that any sort of intrepidations and things that we are feeling, calm, we're heading to calm waters and um, it's uh, the path that we choose is going to take us, take us um, to where we want to go and we need to have that courage to know that we can move through anything to any turbulence to over to something calmer with that and then finally what will give us clarity is knowing that 
there is an energy of second chances there's an energy of we can let go be clear about what we want and we can follow our inner tune follow our call it, calling and be very clear about what we want with energy with Aries energy and we can follow what is inside us that will keep us driving to move to what we want and even if we have faltered we can um, there's a second chance happening there and I'll just have a look what's on the bottom of the deck and we have the hermit and the biggest surprise card here is no matter what happens you're going to see that all right um, is be prepared to step back from any situation if it starts to get a bit tetchy or pointy and knowing that you're moving to better things and and see the light not the lampshade and that should hold us in good stead for tomorrow so i'd like to thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you on the next video